Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, just playing around with a new mic, I can't get the uh, sound right. And the wind muff keeps falling off. So I'll try it without it, but I doubt it's gonna work. Just bear with me for a moment. Okay, so that's on. Let's see how it goes. Clipped onto my shirt, so this is a test just to see how it goes. So anyway, I'm here to tell you. I'm gonna give you my opinion, my version of events, what's happening in the world situation right now. No, I'm not, just joking. <laughs> just joking. One must retain a certain bit of uh, humour in this situation. So just let me adjust on the uh, phone that the light. Well, that sort of detracts from the, uh, the view. Okay, so let's go half and half, yeah? There we go. So it doesn't really matter if you see me or not. Anyway, just having an outing for a... Uh, for an outing's sake. I'm at a place called Puk Tien. I'll probably put some drone footage and some other footage up with this video to uh, lighten up my uh, drone. And uh, yeah, so situation's pretty tough here. It's pretty tough in Australia. I know everyone's doing it really hard with like, this almost complete and total lockdown. We have lockdowns here. We have uh, situation here. Uh, you guys are worried about a couple of hundred cases. You know, we have 15,000 a day here. There are people, and I hate, I hate to start this off on a really sad note, but there are people actually dying in the streets. Uh, whether it's uh, from COVID, uh, the disease, the virus or not, we don't know. They're not letting that information out. Mostly I think they're uh, very old and homeless people and very old and homeless sick people that have got no food. No one, there's no social security here. There's no, there's no great uh, benefits uh, coming to anyone from the government. It's, uh, businesses are closed, uh, like all the bars, for instance, all the bars, you know, but shopping centers are open, schools are closed. Uh, this little coffee shop here is open, but most of the other businesses around here have sort of shut down or gone broke or sold out or just left because there's been absolutely zero, even local tourism. Because Bangkok is in full and complete lockdown. We have uh, red zones here. And uh, although it's not policed fantastically, there's supposedly uh, uh, a request not to travel into provincially. I mean, like state to state. So, you know, things are pretty tough everywhere in the world. I don't really want to talk too much about uh, the medical or scientific side of the um, of the situation. Um, I'll let that uh, stay with the experts, so to speak. And uh, experts on it, there are many and varied. Uh, I think information is uh, limited, to say the least. Let's say limited as to what people can find out. There's a lot of people living in fear. I'm not frightened, I'm not scared. I'm cautious, I'm being cautious. I mean, there is the virus itself and I'm over 65, let's say, well, I'm 68 going on 69. So, you know, I'm in the high risk category of, of getting really sick. So, you know, I've taken out some health insurance. If I get sick, well, then I'll go to hospital. I've tested myself. Uh, I don't have the virus, according to the PCR test, antigen test. I did that yesterday, actually. So, you know, we just want to get out and about a bit, you know. And fortunately for us, we can do that here. 
We can get out, we can get around, we can go to places like this. There's not too many people around, there's not much danger. Uh, you know, we take all our precautions. Uh, when we're out in public, you know, we wear the mask. Uh, we can still go to the markets here, which is, you know, people shoulder to shoulder, basically. So, but uh, the experts, the experts, the science says, that uh, the virus doesn't live very long outdoors. The droplets dissipate, they fall to the ground, uh, they evaporate and uh, the virus doesn't have much chance outside, especially in a hot sunny environment of surviving. So, um, you know, we're doing the best we can to stay safe and to keep others around us safe. I closed the shop for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to open again on Sunday. You know, I don't know if we'll get too many customers. People are just not going out. People are, uh, uh, people are afraid. People are scared. So, you know, the best we can do is to get out to places like this. It's a lovely little place. Pook Tien, you've got the big statue you can see up, up there in the background. You've seen some of my videos i've had some drone footage in that before of this place i'll do some more again today just going to wander around and shoot some video uh, have something to eat we can get something to eat here there is one restaurant open there's this little cafe open where we've got uh, our uh, iced coffee Ham's wandering around down along the beach path, taking selfies and shooting a little bit of video and some photos. I think she's really glad to get out of the house. It, it's caused us a few problems at home. We've only been living together for uh, a few months and uh, getting a bit stir crazy. It gets a bit tough at times, uh, especially for me. I used to being alone for so long. So, yeah. Things are difficult for everyone, so I think we've just got to make the best of it, you know. And I make the best of it by occasionally getting out to somewhere like this, you know. Watch a lot of YouTube, watch a lot of really old movies and stuff like that. Uh, I don't watch the news. I won't watch the news, although, you know, in, in some ways I tell a lie. I did actually watch some. Uh, just let me adjust this camera. It's not level. I did actually watch uh, some ABC news today and uh, caught up on a little bit of the Olympics and stuff like that. But, you know, unfortunately, uh, for decades I've never trusted the mass media. And so uh, I don't like to watch the news too much because of the, uh, I don't know, it seems to be driving the fear, driving the paranoia, driving division between people of different beliefs and different opinions on what's really going on, etc, etc. So, uh, I don't really want to go into that too much, you know. So, you know, the protests and, you know, all that stuff and the hatred that's uh, been, and vitriol that's been dished out to people that attended the, the protest. And, yeah, so, that makes it all that much more difficult actually to see that, so I try to avoid watching it. So just try to have a really nice time come out to pleasant places like this and uh, you know enjoy life as best we can because really no one gets out alive you know so uh, I want to enjoy what I can where I can when I can and so yeah the purpose of this video is is not to uh, make any uh, statements on the situation other than uh, we're doing the best we can, we're staying careful, but uh, we're refusing to live in fear. It's hard, uh, and watches a lot of the Thai news and a lot of Thai videos come out with these people dying on the streets and stuff like that with no one to help them, no one helping them at all. People walking past and taking photos and video, videoing them while they're dying, and oh, I find, you know, I can't watch too much of that stuff. And I know that it really affects her, you know, so I wish she wouldn't, but, you know, I can't tell her what to do. I can't tell anyone what to do, you know, just do your best, be happy. And, uh, you know, I'm just telling you now that, uh, 
you've got it pretty good there in many ways. In uh, Thailand here, as I said to you before, there's 15,000 cases a day. Mind you, that's over about 90 million people or more. I'm not quite sure what the population is. So yeah, there's poverty, there's uh, depression, there's a big jump in suicide rates. Yeah, the whole gamut, everything, you know, and it's, it's tough for everyone, everywhere around the world, you know, and uh, I think, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's got to be a way out of it and there's got to be an end to it. And, uh, you know, my main concern really, really, I have children and I have grandchildren and my main concern is uh, the outcome of the after COVID, you know, what's going to happen after COVID? What sort of a world are we going to live in? What sort of uh, political uh, schools are going to be in power? What are they going to do? You know, how are they going to treat us as uh, as people? You know, are we going to go back to a feudal system where we just become the peasants and the powers that be control and own and run everything, like the uh, the uh, scenario of uh, Schwab or whatever his name is, the banker with the uh, uh, what's he call it, the uh, the Great Reset? That's right. Yeah, I watched a little bit about it. You know, the Great Reset. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Hello, you know, seriously, do they think that, you know, just because of COVID, you know, and after COVID, all the people that have worked hard all their lives and their families have worked hard all their lives are just going to give everything up? Not a chance. It's a fantasy. Just as much as these idiots, these billionaires going off into outer space when they could be helping them rid the world of poverty they're going off out into space as, as if in their lifetime <laughs> they're going to be able to go and settle somewhere <laughs> in, on another planet absolutely ridiculous some of it's just ridiculous some of it is just ludicrous ludicrous to me to my way of thinking the way i view things some of it is just absolutely ludicrous i mean you know billions and billions of dollars just to get into a you know the 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 first stepping stone in space of being you know weightless you know and uh have no gravity affecting you and and yet you know there are there's enough money spent on the boat between bezos and and uh who's the other clown the virgin bloke um you know there's enough money spent between the two of them to feed clothe and house every poor person in the world on the planet you know to make medical centres, to make uh, evacuation centres, to make, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, you know, isolation centres uh, for, for people that are sick, you know, on and on and on and on, I, uh, you know, I digress, you know, it's a beautiful day here, we're at Puk Tien, we're going to have something to eat soon, so I'll stop in a moment and then later on I'll get the drone up and, uh, you know, we'll... Uh, check out the uh, the peace and quiet here at uh, Puk Tien okay chat for now but I'll be back uh, gonna have something to eat not gonna film us eating as I've said to you before in all my videos I can't stand watching people eat <laughs> on video anyway so gonna go and do that now and have a bit of a uh, bit of a spell and a relax and uh, enjoy being out of the house for a time chuffing out